We all have wondered how some websites end up showing us ads for what only we are thinking about or talking to friends. How is that possible? Well, as kids, our mothers warned us about not accepting free goodies from strangers, but if only there was someone to tell us about cookies online. We have accepted cookies online without reading what it is about or accepting all cookies and not understanding what exactly that does. But today we are going to put all your doubts to sleep and in this episode of One Battery Time, we are going to look into what cookies are and understand what exactly happens when you accept them. If you open any new website on your device right now, a pop-up window will appear informing you that cookies are used to track your usage and also it will ask you to agree to it to let it happen. Also the site will ask you to read its cookie policy and it will suggest that it is for enhancing your experience on the website. But is it always the case? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Cookies are small files that are sent by the website to your device and then used by the website itself later to monitor you and also remember certain information about you. But what kind of information is stored in these cookies? Let's say you visit a weather website to check the weather in your area. So to check that, you are entering your PIN code. So once you enter that and you leave, when you come back to the same website, your PIN code is already available there for you because of cookies. Also, certain shopping websites use cookies for their favor to store your personal information like address, phone number, and you don't have to even log in. So in simpler words, cookies are text files which store small pieces of your data, like username and password, which are used to identify your device when you open up a website. Data stored in cookies are created by server upon your connection. This data is then labeled with an ID unique to you and your computer. When the cookies are exchanged between the computer and the network server, the server reads the ID and draws information that is specifically to be served to you. Now these cookies are different on different websites depending on what information it's trying to collect from you. Let us quickly look at what are these different types of cookies. Number one, session cookies. Also known as temporary cookies, session cookies help a website recognize its user and remember information that the user is providing while they are navigating through the website. Session cookies retain information about its user only till they last on the website. This is commonly found on e-commerce websites when there is a guest user. When you add something to your shopping cart, it stays there when you go back to add a new product. But if you were to shut down that page and go back to the cart, the cart will be empty. This happens because you left the website and session cookies end the moment you leave the website. Number two, permanent cookies. Also known as persistent cookies, permanent cookies stay in action even after the web browser is closed. Say if you were to visit any e-commerce platform right now, it asks you for your login details like username and password. Well, Permanent cookies will help remember these details so that the user doesn't have to log in every time they want to make a purchase. However, the law states that the permanent cookies must be deleted after 12 months to protect the privacy of users' information. Number 3. First Party Cookies First party cookies are installed by the website owner, that is the domain, that the user is visiting. First party cookies allows the website owner to collect analytical data, preferred language setting and perform other functions that can help enhance the experience for the user. So say when you are visiting an e-commerce platform, it is making use of first party cookie to remember details, things that you are adding in your cart, products that you prefer, to make further suggestions on your homepage after remembering the existing information that you provided to the website. Number 4. Third party cookies Third-party cookies are installed on the website by a third party to conduct research on behavior, demographics and spending habits. These cookies are installed by advertisers who wants to ensure that the product is advertised to the right set of target audience. Say you are on an e-commerce website right now and you saw a mug that you weren't ready to buy just yet. You left that website and you started surfing another website just to see the ad of that mug again. Well, this is the result of third party being in action. Third party ad tech companies manage and store line of code to deliver, track and campaign across various websites. Websites are making money from advertising networks by placing ad serving code on their website. Generally speaking, people trust first party cookies more than they trust third party cookies as it actually helps enhance the user's experience on the website. And lastly, zombie cookies. 
Zombie cookies are a type of flash cookies that are automatically recreated even when the user deletes them. These cookies are usually hard to detect and hard to manage. These cookies are found on online gaming to prevent cheating. But then they are also used to install malicious software onto a user's device. Google announced their plans in 2020 to remove third-party cookies from Google Chrome by 2022. But that didn't happen, so Google pushed the deadline to 2024. Advertisers and publishers were concerned that Google is going to replace their cookie tracking technology in Chrome, but Google themselves rely on third-party cookies for their own ad business. So let's see how this works out. So the most common doubt all of us have is that how websites start showing us things that we were just thinking about. It's because you have left some trace on the internet and that led to a cookie to start doing its job. So the next time you store information online, make sure and be aware of what types of cookies you're giving permission to. With this, we come to the end of our today's video. And if you want to find out the logic behind your day-to-day -day tech interactions, leave it in the comment section below. And to keep finding out the logic behind other applications, stay tuned with one byte at a time.